Have you ever wanted to run Android applications in your Linux machine? Honestly, I feel that this should be normal since, well, Android is Linux after all, and if you ask me, the fact that there is still no reliable way to do this is kind of annoying. But today I want to show you a project that aims to fill this gap and allow you to run Android applications in your Linux machine as if they were native. So with no further ado guys, let's check it out. All right, so let's check out what Anbox is and how you should use it. So of course here I'm running Arch Linux, so your experience may vary depending on which distribution you're running. Uh, there are instructions actually for Ubuntu in the Unbox.io website. So if you go to get started and you get instructions for how to install uh, Unbox using um, a snap package, which is the default for uh, the Unbox installation since it really targets Ubuntu. So uh, it shouldn't really be a problem. Um, I'm going to tell you what you have to do if you're running Arch Linux. You just have to uh, install three packages here. So Anbox get, Anbox modules DKMS get, and Anbox image from the AUR. So uh, you just go ahead, use your favorite uh, AUR helper, and just install the three of these packages. Once you have uh, the tree installed, you just have to um, mode probe uh, two kernel modules, so Binder Linux and ha Ashmem Linux. It's probably better if you restart your computer before doing this since um, it may avoid some problems you may have. So just run these commands. Now I do already have both modules already loaded in my kernel. So what you do next is run uh, sudo systemctl uh, start and box container manager dot service. Now once the container manager is running, you basically have um, your virtual or sort of virtual Android container mounted and ready to go. So we just have to run Unbox session manager and just leave this terminal running and then just uh, open your application launcher and run Unbox. And as you see here, I have a really nice window. This is already Android that shows uh, the applications that I have installed in the system. So um, last time I checked, the internet connection wasn't working. Uh, so let's, let me just check F-Droid here. So um, if I try to update the repositories, nothing happens because there's no internet connection in the virtual Android environment. You can also check uh, the WebView browser tester. So just go to google.com and you see it's, it doesn't work. Error internet disconnected. So it's a bit limited from this point of view, but uh, you can run some applications that don't need internet access and they should be fine. So the way uh, for you to actually get applications. So you can either download apps from F-Droid. Uh, if you don't know what F-Droid is, it's basically an open source Play Store replacement where all the applications you get are open source. There is quite a selection of software here. So let's just uh, search for file manager here and see if there's one that works. So let's try the file manager from CyanogenMod. Uh, this is actually quite old, but it should work, no problem. So we download the APK, you see it just downloads here normally. And then we just install it using ADB. So if you have never used ADB before, uh, it's basically the Android debug bridge. It's a little tool that allows you to interact with connected Android devices and box is actually uh, behaving like an Android device that is physically connected to our computer. So uh, let me just run real quick ADB devices so that I can show you um, that the virtual machine is actually connected. So as you see here, we have emulator 6663 device. So as you see, we have an emulator uh, connected to um, our ADB 
So to install an application, we just ran ADB install and then the path to the APK. In this case, it's uh, com.cyanogenmod, com.cyanogenmod, file manager, ICS, blah, 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 dot APK. And as you see, uh, it instantly installed it. And here we have it, file manager. And apparently it does work. Now, this is uh, really surprising since Ames file manager as you see here, doesn't work. Probably because there are some animations and stuff that uh, are not working correctly with Anbox, but still, um, I would really suggest to use uh, Amaze File Manager, but as you can't, the Synergy Mod File Manager or any other thing will probably do. So we can navigate through uh, the virtual file system. Nothing much we can really do here, uh, and Amaze isn't closing properly so just leave it here and wait for it to crash or something um, so um, you probably may see that performance isn't really uh, the best here uh, this is quite an old application it's, it's actually running pretty good but I will be surprised to see any better performance than this at this point in time since Nbox is still really early in development and some things work fine, some others, well, not so much. Let me open these settings up. And as you see here, I'm scrolling through the settings up and it's really sluggish. And it's not really very responsive. This is probably because the settings up in Android Nougat. Oh, by the way, yes, this is Android Nougat. So you're running Android 7.1.1. The last time I checked, probably, yeah. Android 7.1.1, this is really nice in my opinion. Uh, we have a really recent and fresh Android version, which is really good. So uh, there are some bugs here and there. For for instance, let me just open um, if this thing works. Let me just open developer options. And as you see, as I open developer options, the whole thing crashes. Uh, Nbox is still running. The only thing that crashes is the settings app. So as you see, it's not really there yet, but for the most part, it's doing pretty good. Now, I also downloaded from F-Droid this little game. Um, it's just a really stupid game, but it's made for Android and it works, which is pretty surprising in my opinion. Another way to download apps is using APK Mirror. So APK Mirror is basically a a website that mirrors the latest updates of popular um, Play Store applications. So uh, if you need to, to uninstall an application, you could go through the settings app, but that's really slow. So let's try to do it. We're going to, yeah, as you see, the settings app doesn't really work fine. And the whole thing crashed. So the session manager is still active but it's probably gonna crash anyway any seconds now so I'm just gonna close it manually and reopen it uh, it's a thing that happens from time to time so let me just try to open and box again and there we have it so again let's try to go to the settings app apps and there we have our apps uh, let's try to uninstall FX. And surprisingly, it did work. Okay. Yeah, that, that's basically it. So it. As of now, it's just a really nice proof of concept. But as development is still going, I think uh, this could be really a nice tool to fill the gap between Linux and Android. So uh, as you see, the application even scales correctly. It's it's really promising to see uh, what a small team of developers uh, can achieve to do. They're also collaborating with UB ports. Uh, you know, Canonical dropped support for Ubuntu phone and they won't be developing it anymore, but the UB ports team is still working to bring Ubuntu on your phone and they're collaborating with Nbox to actually bring Android applications on Ubuntu phone. Since it's really difficult to push a new mobile standard 
having the possibility to run Android applications on a Linux system, be it a desktop or a mobile Linux system, is really something I would like to see. So uh, you can you can try Unbox yourself. You just go to Unbox.io and look for instructions for Ubuntu, or just go ahead and install it on Arch or any other system. Um, of course, your experience may vary. Uh, it's really different depending on what which distribution you're running. But I think you can figure it out yourself. I hope the Unbox team manages to bring a nice working experience of of Android applications under Linux because this could be really a nice way to bring some missing applications from Android on Linux with no much effort and in a native sort of way and I'm really hoping this project goes forward. So guys, it's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Also make sure to check out the TechPills website at techpills.technology, you will find a link in the description. Again guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.